I know that I've been poisoned. Everyone is. But what matters is what you decide to do with it. Some people have resigned to living with it. Others try to get rid of it, so it doesn't take over. Being here, a place where furious voices couldn't reach me anymore. I started hearing my own melody and discovering how I vibrate with the universe. There were people that didn't like how I sounded though. Some of them even tried to silence me. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the minds to suffer the slings and arrows of pain. Aye, there's the rub. For in this sleep of death, what dreams may come? I think that saying that I found love was actually appropriate. It was not a concept that I understood well enough before. Love allows you to flourish. It makes you calm down when your heart is beating too fast. 
it feels like you are floating in space with someone and there's nothing that can move your attention from their eyes. and safe and when I close my eyes that is what comes to mind unfortunately when I fall asleep I sometimes remember that it wasn't always like that it used to be cold and lonely it hurt to feel scared unwanted and unappreciated I always wanted to do something about it, but every time I tried, I just felt a knot in my throat and pressure in my chest as if I was asphyxiating. <laughs> yes. Nice. Warm. And safe. I can't say that I felt the same about friends. Yes, I left some that I consider family in my home country. And some other people that, quite honestly, need to check up on their sanity, as they used to live for making me and others feel miserable. Honestly, I stayed there because I had problems with my self-esteem. Point being, I came here with no one, and missing some. It was difficult to find people here, and when I did, I made bad choices and ended up with people who were only with me as long as fun was around. Once the bottle was empty, I found that being with me was not the fun they were looking for. It's your dream. It's your turn. Right? You don't have a limit on that, right? No, but yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. to talk about how they treat me as ending up alone was, for the most part, my fault. Remember that I told you about poison? Well, apparently, I couldn't get rid of it. When times got hard, I relied very heavily on the people who didn't really care about me. And the ones that did rightfully took another path in life. Everything started to feel cold once more. However, I stopped jumping from my bed in the middle of the night. I guess my brain didn't care about nightmares anymore since my life turned into one. In fact, I didn't care about many things. The poison had spread through my body so much that it was pouring out of me. I became indifferent to my life. I was no longer afraid of things happening to me. 
but I realized that was scary. So I decided to start playing this game differently. It was either continuing with my nihilistic life or trying to redefine things for it, as the task was too difficult sometimes. I got to ask questions to wiser sources, like, why should one keep on going in life? Because things aren't always going to stay down and bad. At some point, you're going to be grateful for your patience and resilience. There are still stories waiting to be written by you. Not clear as water or definitive as a diagnosis, but words like those were a guide to start. Life continues to feel a little lonely. However, at least, I started to be a better company for myself. I started recovering my sound. I started smiling again. I started caring again. I needed time to suffer, to learn and understand one thing. I wanted to use my life for something. I wanted to love, to give to other people what I lacked when I was growing up. But first, I needed to do something. Learn how to love myself.